Question number one. If A and B, they both belong to set of real numbers, and you're given that A plus B is equal to zero, you have just to prove that A is equal to minus B. This is not a very difficult or very important question from paper point of view. However, we will solve it out. You're given that a plus b is equal to 0 and this is given and you're also given that a and b belong to set of real numbers they belong to set of real numbers and every real number has its additive inverse in the set of real numbers and therefore there exists the additive inverse of this number b that is minus b and it must belong to set of real numbers you can add this additive inverse on the both sides of this equation number a the result is a plus b plus additive inverse of b is equal to 0 plus additive inverse of b next you will make the use of property that when an additive inverse is added into its corresponding number the result is an additive identity that is 0 plus 0 plus minus b next when an additive identity is added into a real number when an additive identity of set of real numbers is added into a real number the number is not acted by that additive identity therefore therefore you will get the same number back a is equal to and by using the same property here you get minus b this was what you had to prove question number two is quite similar to it and it is not very important from paper point of view therefore i will directly move to question number three In question number three, you're asked to prove that absolute value of a absolute value minus b absolute value is less than or equal to absolute value of a minus b, where a and b are both in the set of real numbers. You can write a absolute value to be equal to a minus b plus b and you can rewrite it as mod of a is equal to mod of a minus b plus b next If we will make use of this inequality a plus b is less than or equal to mod of a plus mod of b by making use of this inequality here we get mod of a is less than or equal to mod of a minus b plus mod of b you have to remove this plus b from here therefore you will have to add its additive inverse on both sides again the result of plus b and minus b is an additive identity therefore we will simply cancel them the result is mod of a minus mod of b is less than or equal to mod of a minus b and this is let me term it as equation number one we will we will uh, make the same procedure to absolute value of b absolute value of b is equal to b minus a plus a again by using by making use of this inequality on on this equation we get b to be less than or equal to mod of 
b माइनस से प्लस मॉड ऑफ से यू हैव टू रिमूव दिस फ्रॉम हियर एंड यू गेट मॉड ऑफ b माइनस मॉड ऑफ से इस लेस देन और इक्वल टू मॉड ऑफ b माइनस से प्लस मॉड ऑफ से माइनस मॉड ऑफ से अगेन द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस इज अ जीरो therefore we get mod of b minus mod of a is less than or equal to mod of b minus a next you have to find out a form like this one a minus b and a minus b on both sides therefore you will have to take minus as a common from here you get and you will also make minus common from here next note that mod of minus a is equal to mod of a these all of inequalities and this relation are done in the articles of exercise 1.1 so therefore you will have to review them before understanding before watching out this lecture this minus sign is immaterial to this absolute value therefore it is removed simply we will simply remove it from here we get a minus b mod of a minus mod of b next you have to remove this minus sign from here therefore you will have to multiply a minus 1 from on both sides and by do, by doing so you get a minus b is greater than or equal to negative of a minus b note that when an equality for example a is less than minus b is multiplied by a negative number for example minus 1 the equality sign simply reverses name this equation as equation number 2 look out at equation number 1 it is mod of a minus mod of b is less than or equal to a minus b this equality is inequality is also similar to it mod of a minus mod of b here it is uh greater than or equal to and there was negative uh, sorry less than or equal to and it is negative here and it is positive a minus b mod here okay by combining them you get this equation is mod of a minus mod of b is less than or equal to a minus b absolute value absolute value of a minus b and in this equation it is written that mod of a minus mod of b is greater than or equal to negative times of a minus b or you can also uh, write that minus a minus b is less than or equal to mod of a minus mod of b this can also be written as negative of a minus b is less than or equal to mod of a minus mod of b now com you can by combining this equation and this equation you simply get this is greater than or equal to negative of a minus b i think that it is quite clear to you now we will also make a use of final relation and this relation is given at the page number 4 and it is property number 4 that this is very useful and very important property that if absolute value of x is less than a then minus a is less than x and x is less than a we will make use of this relation mod of x is less than a then minus a is less than x is less than positive way this is the similar expression it is written that this is less than this and this is less than positive of this like this one therefore we will get the central the central element this one its absolute value to be less than or equal to this one 
therefore we get absolute value of a minus b is less than or equal to absolute value of absolute value of a minus absolute value of b is less than or equal to absolute value of a minus b this was what you had to prove question number four express three less than x less than seven in modulus notation this is quite uh, important and very simple question uh, given that three is less than x which is less than seven note that x less than a implies minus a is less than x less than a this is property number four on the page number four of your text so by making use of this inequality you get another inequality for example x minus a is less than b mod of x minus a is less than b this implies by making use of this uh, relation you get x minus a greater than minus b and this one less than b you need x in the center therefore we will remove minus a from here which can be done by adding b in all of the sides of inequality sorry by adding a in all of the sides of this inequality so minus b plus a is less than x minus a plus a is less than b plus a which in terms a minus b is less than x because a and a are cancelled out is less than a plus b name it by inequality number one and name it by inequality number two from this we have seen that when inequality one holds then we get inequality number two compare your original inequality let a term is an inequality number capital a compare this with this you get a minus b is equal to three a plus b is equal to seven so we will write comparing inequality a and inequality 2 we get a plus b is equal to 7 and a minus b is equal to 3 from here a is equal to 3 plus b put this value of a into this equation you get 3 plus b plus b is equal to 7 this means 2b is equal to 7 minus 3 is equal to 4 that is b is equal to 4 4 divided by 2 this is 2 so b is equal to 2 put this value of b is equal b that is 2 here you get a is equal to 3 plus 2 that is a is equal to 5 so you have taken out the values of a and b by solving this equation and this equation simultaneously now put these values back into equation number inequality number one you simply get mod of x minus a that is 5 is less than b that is 2 this was what you needed answer of question number 4 now we will solve the question number 5 this is quite similar to uh, this equation sorry this question in question number 5 you are given that let delta be greater than 0 and a is in the set of real numbers you have to prove that a minus delta is less than x is less than a plus delta if and only if mod of x minus a is less than delta for this equation because there is if and only if so we you will first suppose that that this is true and you will prove this one and then you will suppose this one and you will have to prove this one first we will suppose that a minus delta is less than x is less than 
a plus delta question number 5 solution let a minus delta is less than x is less than a plus delta from this since you need x minus a in the absolute value therefore we will subtract minus a in all of the side of this equation a minus delta minus a less than x minus a and a plus delta minus a we have subtracted a from all of the sides of this inequality previous inequality you get this is cancelled by this and this one is cancelled by this you simply get minus delta is less than x minus a is less than delta what is this this is mod of x minus a is less than delta because from property 4 on page number 4 mod of x is less than a implies minus a is less than x is less than a we have simply used this inequality this is what we needed to prove now we will suppose this is true that is x minus a is less than delta now by making use of this definition you get x minus a greater than minus delta and less than plus delta you have to remove minus a from here therefore you will add a on all of the sides of this inequality x minus a plus a delta plus a and the result is a minus delta is less than x is less than delta plus a or a plus delta so you have done both of the things you have first supposed this assertion and you proved this one and next you proved you you supposed this one to be true and you proved this one therefore you have done all of the things and this one is called the converse thus this implies this this was what you needed to prove